Hi, welcome to the SEPT University Digital Library Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover all the features and benefits of the digital library so you can take maximum benefit of the platform. The digital library sits at sept.refree.com. To access the e-library collections and all its features, you must first log in into the platform. For many features like the ability to save content into reading lists or to place item request, login is mandatory. The logged in activity also helps us understand your reading and your research interests better and that will help us build more features and expand the e-library collection further. In case you do not have your account registered on the platform, send us your full name, enrollment number or employee ID, your department or school, your mobile number and official email address to the library support email address shown here. Now let's look at the platform. Visit cept.refree.com and the first thing that you need to do is login. So click on this login button here. If you do not have your account registered already, just send your details to the email addresses shown here and we will get back to you with your login credentials within 24 hours. I'm going to log in using my demo account and as soon as I log into the platform, I have full access to all the collections and services. You can see all the subscribed publishers here and follow the latest posts from the library Instagram handle on the top. You can track all your past readings on the home page here. Keep up with all the latest content which has been acquired in the library or ebooks, e-journals and video lectures recommended by the library staff. You can catch on the headlines harvested from multiple online news portals or architecture and design related e-magazines here. Whatever content is being read most in the CEPT campus is shown in the trending section on the home page. You can browse the e-library by categories or subjects here. You can click on any of these subjects to list the resources for that particular subject area or discipline. You can also browse content by publisher. These are all the subscribed databases or content platforms which are licensed or subscribed by the library. So let's say you want to read a journal from Taylor and Francis. You can click on the link here and it will display all the journals from T&F. Click on the read button and you will be taken to the publisher platform wherein you don't need to do any parallel login. The publisher platform will recognize you as an authenticated user of the CEPT University and you will have full text access to all the articles. You can read the full text in HTML format or download the PDF. Basically, the full text access that you had only within the campus before is now available to you across the globe through the digital library. Similarly, you can access all these publishers 24 to 7 from anywhere, anytime. In addition to the subscribed databases, we have also curated open access e-resources from many green or gold standard repositories. You can browse the subscribed and open access e-resources by media as well. Let's click on this link for videos here and you will find that there are thousands of video lectures curated to support your research and learning needs. In the browsing list by media, you will find this link here for login-based e-resources. This features a few publications for which the library has subscribed for a single user access. You can send a request for access to these publications to the library and the staff will share the credentials for access over email. The library team is also uploading relevant e-resources into the e-library and building these topical collections. Click on the Course Wise Collection or the Thematic Collection to list e-resources. We will keep building these collections further. Please do send us your suggestions if you want us to create more such collections to support your learning and research needs. The platform features expert talks from channels like TED, Big Think and many renowned think tanks. There are more than 167,000 expert talks to help you keep up with the world. There are literary works in Hindi, English, Urdu, Punjabi, and other regional languages. These are open access audio ebooks or PDFs which you can download and read. 
Now let's look at the single window search and how you can discover e-resources. I will use this basic search bar to search for e-resources related to green architecture. The platform first shows all the relevant publications with titles having the searched keywords. I can drill down the results set using these filters. I can filter results by year, accessibility or by type of media. I can also filter by author or publisher. If there is any matching publication in the e-resources uploaded by the library, it will show up in this collection tab. This tab for print holdings shows me all the print books and other physical holdings available in the library. Since these are print resources, I cannot read them online, but I can check their availability in the library. Similarly, I can see find the matching news articles in this tab. If I switch over to this articles tab, the platform will broadcast my search to all the subscribed journals and databases and fetch the most relevant and latest research articles. Click on this button here to load the entire results set and you find that the platform has brought results from all the subscribed sources. I can sort these articles by title, year and most importantly by the number of citations. Sorting results by citations will help you discover some of the most cited articles that you must not miss out on. The platform supports Boolean operators like Google and you can also use quotes on either side of the query to search by phrase. When you do that, you get lesser but more relevant search results. You can also use the advanced search form for more complex search queries or use the limiters in the basic search like this. In this case, I am searching for only ebooks with the keyword glass in title. As you can see, I got 5 results only. These are all ebooks with glass in their title. On every search result, you will find options to personalize your reading experience. Use this icon to save any AV source to reading lists for future reference. I am creating a folder named Glass to save this ebook. Likewise, I can create as many folders as I want and save as many documents as I like to those folders to organize my reading material. You can refer to your saved items in the reading list by clicking this icon. And here are the two documents I just saved. You can select documents in the reading list and email their links to your peers. However, whosoever you send these links to must be a part of the SEPT University Digital Library to access the full text of those documents. You can also export the references of the saved documents in more than a thousand citation styles. Just search for the citation style like APA 6th edition and you can generate the citations for all your saved documents. All the e-resources collections, services and features we demonstrated in this tutorial can be accessed not just through the SEPT Digital Library web platform, but also through the mobile apps available on the iOS App Store and Google Play Store. In case you are not able to find a resource you wish to read, feel free to reach out to us through this request an item form or feedback form. You can also send us your feedback and suggestions at the email addresses provided here. We request you to explore the digital library and help us spread the word out in the SEPT campus. Happy reading!